This is the Atomic Coatings Pre-Lab. The size of an atom is too small to imagine. Counting the number of atoms and even a microscopic amount of material is an impossible task. It would take a billion years. It turns out, however, that it is possible to apply a thin surface coating of metal atoms onto another metal. This is done to change the properties of the underlying or base metal. In this experiment, the thickness of a zinc metal coating on galvanized iron will be determined and used to count the number of layers of atoms in the coating. The purpose of this experiment is to determine the number of layers of zinc atoms in the protective coating on a sheet of galvanized iron. The reaction that you're going to do is shown below. The amount of zinc deposited on the surface of galvanized iron can be determined by reacting the zinc with hydrochloric acid. The products of the reaction are zinc chloride, which dissolves in the hydrochloric acid solution, and hydrogen gas, which bubbles out of the solution. By measuring the mass of a piece of galvanized iron before and after its reaction with hydrochloric acid, the mass of zinc that reacted can be calculated. The mass of zinc can be related in turn to the number of layers of zinc atoms in the zinc coating by considering the density of the metal, the surface area of the galvanized iron, and the size of a zinc atom. Since we are using hydrochloric acid that is relatively strong, please be careful when working with it. It's severely corrosive to skin and eyes. The pieces of galvanized iron may have sharp edges that can cut skin, so please handle the metal pieces with your forceps. Wear chemical splash goggles and wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water before leaving the laboratory. Obtain a piece of galvanized iron and measure and record its mass to the nearest one hundredth of a gram using a balance. Due to the irregularities in shapes of the pieces, measure the length and width of the piece of galvanized iron using a metric ruler recording to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. Place the metal piece in a 400 milliliter beaker and add enough 6 molar hydrochloric acid to cover the metal. About 25 milliliters of acid should be plenty. Let the beaker stand until the rapid bubbling stops. When the signs of reaction indicate that all of the zinc has reacted, add about 200 milliliters of tap water to the reaction beaker. This will dilute the hydrochloric acid solution and stop the reaction. Remove the metal with a forceps. Holding the metal with the forceps, rinse the metal thoroughly with tap water. Dry the piece of metal on a paper towel. When the metal is completely dry, measure and record the mass of the metal once again to the nearest one hundredth of a gram. Hopefully, if all goes well, the mass will have decreased, not increased. Place the used piece of metal in the waste container provided and pour the diluted acid down the drain. If time permits, repeat steps 1 through 8 with a second piece of galvanized iron. Make sure to clean off your lab table when you are finished and wash your hands with soap and water before you leave the laboratory. Follow your teacher's instructions for all of the post-lab analysis.